That's Division One in Division Two. Maumee taking on St. Mary's Memorial. Late first half, Rough Riders free kick. Ariel fast, think fast. Beats the keeper for the score. Memorial with an early lead. Just four minutes later, after going down in the box, Crystal Rupert PK capitalizes top shelf. They head into the break with a 2-0 lead. Second half, Panthers trying to respond into the box, battle for possession. Evelyn Boyette has been so good in this postseason, uses her head, falls right into the keeper's arms. Back the other way, Rough Riders cross. Haley Hughes with the save, but there for the cleanup is Memorial again. Mommy falls 3-0. Still a lot to be proud of this season for the Panthers. Um, I'm impressed every day with them. Uh, they haven't given up all year. I mean, unfortunately, we went down 2-0, but we have come back from 2-0 several times for a tie and a win. So 2-0 wasn't nothing for these girls. They believe in themselves, and it was just unbelievable to see them keep going. These four seniors are the first class since I've been here. So they've been through the rough. They've been through, you know, trying to uh, bring up the level of the of the players and you know, not quite getting it. But this year they saw that they stuck with it and they just they just kept working. Kevin Peel and Bernie Hunter Brinker worked the game for BCSN. A D2 regional semifinal in Bowling Green. Both these teams going at it for 80 minutes. But when you look at how things played out in that first half, Bernie, those two huge goals, the first one from Ariel Fast just outside the box, and then Krista Rupert a couple minutes later really did in Mommy tonight. Yeah, that, that put Mommy down uh, by two goals. Uh, Mommy really started off very well. They they didn't have a lot of opportunities, but that's kind of been their season. But they get those up when they do get an opportunity, they've done fairly well when they get that opportunity. The St. Mary's team that only allowed 11 goals this season coming in. Their defense played the part. But you also have to give big-time credit to Maumee, who hung in there. Even before those two goals, Haley Hughes gets carded. So Bischoff has to come in. Charlie Bischoff has to come in and stop a penalty kick against the career record holder for goals from St. Mary's and Ariel Fast, and she did it. Yeah, uh, Bischoff was in the right spot at the right time, and Fast uh, cranked the ball right at her, and uh, Bischoff came through and did the, did a great job on that PK. So uh, shortly after that, then uh, uh, Haley got back into the goal, uh, and she really played very well. And St. Mary's is going to be a formidable threat. 19 wins in 22 matches. They advance to Saturday's regional final right back here in Bowling Green. But how about Maumee and what Coach Jeremiah McNutt has been able to do Nine years since they had even reached the regional semifinals, since they'd even had a winning season. They've made so many strides courtesy of this new mindset this year. And the four seniors that are a part of this mommy roster, they've helped transform transform this entire program. And that's four seniors that are leaving, but you got a whole bunch of young kids coming in from Maumee who play travel soccer. So, so that's going to help Jeremiah and Matt Albright out a great deal next year. They just need to find a, a, a keeper, and I think they, uh, Maumee will do very well in the NBC next year. They are going to be a threat, to say the least. The Lady Panthers, a great tournament run, and a five-game winning streak comes to a close with a setback to St. Mary's to end their season.